Hi guys, we're back in Pensacola. I'm on the hunt for some picanha. So, right here, the butcher shop. Wish us luck. Hi guys, before I cut it open, I wanted to show you how much, if I didn't show it in the clip there, 2132. Okay, it's not cheap, but it's beautiful. Look at that, huh? So I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and I'm gonna wipe it dry with a paper towel and then I'll show you how to cut it. I'm not doing steaks, so if I was doing steaks, I would cut it with the grain, but I'm doing uh, skewers. I'm gonna use the flexible skewers right here, just one, I'm just gonna do one, and uh, do the C-shape of uh, picanha like you see at a Rodizio grill and stuff. We're gonna try it that way. Anyways, uh, find the way the grain goes and cut it against the grain if you're doing the C-cup uh, wheels, half wheels, if you wanna call them. So you can see the grain's going this way, and we're gonna cut it that way, all right? Leave all that fat on there, it's good stuff right there. You could trim a little bit of it, but it looks good. I think they already trimmed some of it, so. All right, so we're gonna cut some steaks about two inches wide. Uh, I don't know where to start. This is probably gonna be a steak right here, okay? I'm gonna cook this part here as a steak. I should've cut it the other way, but it's okay. Okay, so two inches, about that, about two fingers. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do a C-shape like this and put it in the skewer. But I'm going to season them up first. Let me cut this up and I'll be right back. For my seasoning, I've got some pink Himalayan, uh, Himalayan core, uh, core salt. Okay, um, this is the kind I'm using. I think I got this at Ross or something like that. I can't remember, but it's really lovely. Uh, I'm gonna do the tops of it first. Okay. Rub that in. And a little bit of pepper, not too much. You want really the salt to stick, stick out of this. When we went to the Rodizio Grill and had this, oh my God, it was my favorite. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna flip the steaks over on their sides like this and I'm gonna do all sides the same way, salt and pepper, okay? So I'll be back, finish that up and then I'll show you how the skewer works. While I'm putting those on skewers, I'm gonna show you what I got going on here off side. I got the regular pan by DeLonghi, just take the paddle out and then put your real grate in there. I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna melt some butter before I start cooking these steaks. Uh, I've got a stick of butter there, unsalted butter and uh, to that, I'm gonna make this in the air fryer while I'm doing this. Um, I got about, I don't know, probably three or four garlic cloves that I sliced in like thin coins here. Put that in there. And a teaspoon of oregano, okay? So I'm gonna melt that in the air fryer on low, the lowest setting on your air fryer. Make sure the dish you put that butter in it is oven proof, okay? So let me turn this on on low. Number one, bottom on. Okay, these skewers are so cool. You can fit so much in it. And there's, a, there's always a link in the description of what I use if you're interested. All right, so here we go. So you're gonna start through the fat. And you're gonna go through the other side. It's about as simple as can be right there. There we go. And just pull it through, okay? My hands are slippery. <laughs> Hang on, I got a towel just to, just for this. And then just push it all the way down. And and they could be touching together. It's okay. So there you go. I'm gonna do uh, as much as I can fit on there. I'll let you know how much I got going on. We'll be back. I bumped it up to a three because I wanted that garlic to cook in that butter there. It smells like garlic, and that's what I wanted. So take that out. Be careful. It's really hot. Okay. I'm going to leave the bottom on. And I have two skewers. I got one waiting in the fridge, so this is plenty of meat for that price. All right. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. <laughs> Here we go. We're going full blast. Number four, bottoms on. Highest setting on my air fryer. I'm going to try to reach an internal temperature of 130, 128, 130-ish, okay? So 
I'll let you know how long that takes. We're about 12 minutes in. Look how beautiful that is. I flipped it over um, halfway, about six minutes in. It was grilling. That fat is really doing well in there. Let me check the temperature. Oh my goodness, we're past 130. She's cooked. All right, let me kiss it with some of this butter. Just kiss it a little bit, you know, just some of that. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to cook it for that much longer. I'm going to keep it on low, the top on low, number one. And let me turn the bottom off since I just put some butter in here. It's just going to cook too fast on the bottom. So I'm going to do that for a couple minutes and then I'm going to taste it for you. Wow. Huh? <laughs> I'm telling you, if you have not tried steak or ribs or pork chops, meat, like it's ridiculous how good it cooks a steak. So I knew this was going to turn out wonderful. So let me try it, eh? So I got a, some of that butter, uh, garlic butter stuff on the side there if you want to dip a piece in there. But let's cut it down to see how, how well it cooked. See, we could have done like probably two minutes less. You want it a little bit more rare than that? That's up to you, of course. But um, yeah, I'm, I think two minutes less, we would have been really good shape. Look at that beautifulness, huh? Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It just melted your mouth. I mean, it's so delicious. Mm. That is outstanding. Um, you know, that was 21 bucks. It's not bad if you look at it that way. There's a lot of steaks there for 21 bucks. It's really good. I'm going to get this again. I'm going to do this again. I love it. Very nice. <sighs> you guys. Picanha in the air fryer. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. <laughs>